Baba. Now the movie opens with a sunrise, and the sunrise is equivalent to the dawn of consciousness, so that in many archaic stories, the sun was a hero, like uh, 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 Horus, if I remember correctly, was a solar king. The idea was that at the sun was the, the hero, the hero who illuminated the sky and the day, and so heroism and illumination and enlightenment are all tangled together metaphorically, and then at night what would happen would be that sun would fight with the with the dragon of darkness, basically, or with evil, all night, and then rise again victorious in the morning. And so it's a death and rebirth theme, and it's very, very, co very, very common mythological theme. And the reason the sun is associated with consciousness, as far as I can tell, is that we're not nocturnal creatures, right? We're awake during the day, and we're very, very visual. Half our brain is devoted to visual processing. And to be enlightened and illuminated means to develop, to move towards a higher state of consciousness, and we naturally use light symbolism to, to represent that, you know, like the light bulb on the top of someone's head. You know, you don't say, uh, I, I was in darkened when you learned something new. And so again, that fits into this underlying metaphorical substrate that, that's, I think, deeply biologically grounded, but, but also socially grounded. So it's a new day, it's the start of a new day, and a day, day actually means, like French, journée, means day, the day trek in some sense, and how to comport yourself during the day is the fundamental question. The day is the canonical unit of time, and so you have to know how to comport yourself during the day, and part of that is a journey from consciousness into unconsciousness and, that's, and that return. So like Apollo, you, 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 you descend into unconsciousness and then re-emerge, and of course that's not metaphorical at all, that's exactly what you do. You descend into the underworld of darkness and dreams, and strange things happen down there, and so, and then you awake, if you're fortunate or unfortunate, depending on your state of mind, you awake in the morning and it's a new day, right? And uh, So the dream world seems to help you sort out your thoughts, by the way, if you keep people awake for an extended period of time, then they, uh, they, 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 they lose their minds, essentially. You, the dream, the, the unconsciousness and the dream state seem absolutely critical in the maintenance of mental health, although people don't exactly understand why. It looks like dreams might help you forget, because forgetting is really important. You, you, just can't rem I mean, you just can't remember everything that happened to you. You get so damn cluttered that, that you, you'd fall apart. And so you reduce things to the gist, and when you're doing that, you pack them in, it's like you compress them in some sense. You pack them into a smaller space and get rid of everything that isn't relevant. And the dream seems to not be part of that. It also seems to be a place where you deeply encode learning that might have been done that day, which is something that Freud actually noted in his Interpretation of Dreams, which is a great book. If you're ever going to read a book that Freud wrote, The Interpretation of Dreams is the proper one to read. In my estimation, it's a brilliant book. And it laid the groundwork for a lot of what Jung did. And so anyways, that's how the movie starts, and the animals come out into the light, and that's, that's a metaphor for the dawning of consciousness to come out into the light, where you can see and so this is a baby giraffe, and babies emerge into the light, roughly speaking, and that's, that's like I said, that, that's a representation of, of the emergence or expansion of consciousness. And so this is how the movie starts. It starts with very expansive music as well, celebratory music. And that's to indicate to you, to set the tone for the movie, but also to indicate to you that you're w about to watch something of import. And the opening scene is actually a real scene of genius in my estimation. The animators did a great job, and it goes along very nicely with the music. And so you see this lit place, and then you see this rock, uh, Pride Rock, I believe it's called, in, in the middle of it, and it's the center. It's the center. It's like the spot that's marked by a cathedral, which is an X or a cross, and you're right in the middle of that. And so it's the center of the light. That's another way of thinking about it. Or it's the center of the territory, it, or it's the home, or it's the fire in the, in the wilderness, or it's the tree in the center where you live. It's all of those things at once. It's inhabited territory with you at the center. And the, the rock represents tradition because people tend to inscribe their traditions on rock, right? Or to, to build them into rock like the pyramids. So you could think about that as a pyramid, as an Egyptian pyramid, and it's the right way to think about it. You could also think about it as a dominance hierarchy with the apex predator at the top, and that's the lion. So it makes sense that the lion would be in the light on the rock. That's a pyramid in the middle of the territory, right? That makes sense to people psychologically. So, because that's what the state is. The state is a hierarchy with, with something at the top that occupies a space that has been illuminated and made safe by consciousness. That's what the state is. And that's all represented right away in this movie. And all the animals come to, 
to observe what's happening in the pyramid and at the top because they need to know what happens as at the top partly to organize their world that's the pyramid but also to see how the organizational principle works and that's why they're all gathering and so they're gathering in the light in the morning to observe something new that's going to be born that's of significant importance and that's the birth of the hero